Welcome in this inventory tutorial lecture. You will learn many things about drag and drop which are useful for our graphic inventory tutorial. I will show you now what is our goal in this short lecture to use some element of inventory for example we will click on this element we can move this element on a screen to some other field and when we pick some field for example this first field we uh, leave this element in our situation with another click and element goes back so with one click we get element move it and leave it and now let's uh, explain one of the possibilities to do this we will uh, use uh, button as previous and uh, this uh, example for uh, realization of this code. In uh, your uh, function button pressed, you have code for local mouse position, set position and set visibility. Also, you have uh, some code for, uh, for image for your button. And we will create one uh, if-else switch here. If this if-else switch is in one condition, for example false, we will have uh, one image for button. And when is in other condition we will have other image for button initial condition is false and uh, when we move uh, element sprite with set position condition will change to true but uh, we will have uh, one important thing for solution how will we see movement on a screen with uh, this function? Uh, we will use other function for this. Function for um, process in delta time. So we will create function process in delta time and when we move some of the element we calculate position and give position to this element so local mouse position will be position of a sprite when this switch is true this switch is true only after button is initially pressed when condition is false so now condition is false when we initially pressed now function process work and uh, whenever we move mouse we get position and this position is updated in a process function if we click again on uh, field of our uh, game inventory field this uh, image will change and uh, visibility of our sprite will be false so when switch is changed sprite will not be visible more but image will be loaded which image image of uh, initial element so we use two images for uh, this button in our situation initial image is this one 
for example inventory image number one and uh, when we move it we use inventory image of a blank space and after that again inventory image one for uh, showing uh, element of uh, of original of of original uh, inventory element on screen if you follow this tutorial uh, from the beginning you can easily solve this problem and uh, make it work but uh, if you don't follow tutorial uh, you will uh, only need to use a part uh, from uh, this uh, left side so uh, other part is code generator and uh, you will use this code here to create uh, something uh, like this simulation of drag and drop on a screen. Thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, we will continue of course in the next micro lecture. Goodbye.